Hey, what's going on, Virgo? All right, so let's see what the current energy is for you guys. Don't forget, flip the road. Take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment, okay? Oh, I forgot that phone is on. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, so I already know what to do. Hit the like button. All right, so flip your roles as you are viewing. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all. My bad. Flip your roles, okay? Take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment, all right? Now, let's see what the energy is like. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that this message reaches the right people at the right time in the right places. What is going on with Virgo? Cornucopia is the first card that came out. So that's about great blessings and abundance um, coming in your life, okay? So you may have planted some seeds and they're ready to be harvested. Okay, so what else is coming with that? That's like your wish fulfillment. So something you prayed for, but is it has required a lot of patience. Yep, attachment in the reverse, a lot of patience. Um, a lot of letting go, a lot of detaching from the things that don't serve you, unhealthy relationships, mindsets, behaviors, patterns, situations, things like that, right? Um, and a man holding a coin in the reverse, okay? Mm, oh, right, yo is not in the reverse, right? So the King of Pentacles, the man holding the coin has been coming out literally in all my readings every day, pretty much, you might as well say. But um, let's talk about it. Why did this attachment card come in the reverse? You learned the art of, art of letting go, pretty much. The five of cups is in the reverse position. So this is somebody moving into a state of acceptance, okay? Um, and releasing the past, releasing the chains to the past. This is like, this is what is happening with you, um, this man, okay? And remember, flip the rose, so clarify cornucopia here i got my space heater on y'all with a little cold if you hear it on the men yeah so basically it's like your heart is healing or your heart has healed or you're getting better You're being more compassionate and kind to yourself. Okay. And this is what makes your heart ready. It's how I'm hearing it. Too many cards. It's like your heart has to be ready to receive love in order for it to come in. And then once you're ready, then bam. Boom, here it is. Right? Be here now. So practice mindfulness, right? To be present in this moment and to gain the insight. But I feel like, again, that's just about you being in the here and now, right? So uh, in order for you to really truly manifest everything that you are truly desiring, it's, it's requiring you to stay present, three, two, three. And sometimes that's hard to do because, it, you know, we're so worried about the future. Or we're so stuck in the past that we can't even focus on what's happening right now in front of us. We can't appreciate the now, okay? But that's where it all starts, basically, is here in your now. And so once you do that and you're taking care of yourself and you're nurturing yourself and you're prioritizing your well-being, um, boom, it appears, right? So what do you want us to know about this man holding a coin? What do we need to know about this person? Why is this person always showing up? cards ace of wands so give me another card it's almost like this person is no longer questioning questioning themselves it's like they're in the process of acting now four cups It's like this person has the urge to do something. And they don't really feel ready. I feel like they, they're they tired of being stagnant. If that makes sense. I feel like they've been doing a lot of meditation. 
um, or contemplating here about something, I definitely feel a, ty uh, a, a feeling of tired of being stagnant. What are they reevaluating? The magician comes out in the reverse. Clarify that magician reverse. It's almost like making a change. They're reevaluating how they may have manifested in the past. They're reevaluating how they may have been manipulative, you know what I'm saying, or insecure, things like that. And so this person is reevaluating making a change, basically. It's like they're embracing their growth, they're seeking a new path, um, and they're welcoming in this transformation with an open heart. So, yeah, that's where the reevaluation is coming from. I, I, you already know where I'm headed at with this. We got the pool. Tell me about this making a change. What does this change look like? It feels like it's just telling me a story going from past to, you know, to present. It's like getting out of the past, staying, stop staying stuck in the past, stop being indecisive. You know, four swords in a reverse position, six of cups in a reverse position, two of pentacles upright, then the fool. Okay? This is like someone who's really ready to take a leap of faith here with something here. It's like they're trusting the universe at this time and trusting the process, right? And the, the answers are literally unfolding, you know, before their eyes when it comes to whatever this change is and whatever it looks like for them. <laughs> Yeah, Eight of Swords in the reverse. It's like they got the answer. They got the solution. It's like they know what to do. And it all surrounds making a change, letting go of the unhealthy attachments, making that sacrifice, you know, in order to have their wish fulfilled, right? In order to be able to manifest something really in their life. So there may be a tower moment that's going to take place here, y'all. It's always a tower, right? So when we come to the end of a cycle, bam tower falls right because we got to go into the next cycle and of course it's always some type of lesson you know it's the it's it's like the chapter test let's just put it that way um what is this tower falling about mm. new worlds did that sound like my door Okay. Um it's just it's this loud knocking. All of a sudden it's just like this knocking, knock, 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 knock. Somebody's trying to get your attention. Missy, I think you should check in So it's like it's it's new worlds, it's more adventures. You know how it is, it's like don't get stuck stagnant, you know. There's so much more to this journey. Yep, the will card comes out. So even if the towers fall, you know, don't give up because there's so there it says there are many more things for you to discover. So don't give up, right? A fresh new start, the end of delays, um a very positive change. And it's leading you to more adventures. Okay, but it's going to it's going to rely it's going to call for you to kind of embrace the uncertainty. Okay, because again, we're not supposed to know everything. We can get step-by-step -step directions and information but on what to do. But this is like one of these situations, yeah. Like it could it could be some adversity. Because there's always obstacles, there's always challenge challenges, right? But this is the part where you know how to stand up for yourself, you know how to um have that confidence in whatever it is that you believe in, okay? So, Virgo, stay tuned for part two.